Welcome back fellow armchair generals, this is Gamer1745 here with my continuing playthrough of Hearts of Iron 4 with Dave, or, um, boy I'm messing that up aren't I, with the Death or Dishonor um, DLC, though it's the only sort of kind of used here for um, Black Ice. Um, there's still a lot of features they need to implement. Now, um, give you sort of an up overview. We are in June, June 5th, so we are out of the winter um, times. We're past most of this worst swamp area, most, not all. We're still messing around with some of that. That's doing good. And we're doing too well here in the south. And the reason I say that is, is basically Hungary, who got us in this goddamn war um, here, who has now these divisions. Okay, 38, now we zoomed in. Um, they're not super awesome divisions, but, you know, they aren't too bad either. So, um, uh, you know, they basically have checked out of this war already. So they've lost a shared border. Italy's a little bit better in sending out forces, it looks like. You can see here they're marching to the front. Um, so I'm actually withdrawing some forces. I'm pushing here, but I'm sending these guys back here and I'm going to withdraw these guys back here um, to increase the border between Romania and the Soviet Union to hopefully get them more involved. I've just now um, deployed a bunch of um, divisions early in their training cycle and sending them all up here. So I want to secure the Baltic states. Um, been suggested that I try to rush, make a mad dash for um, Moscow up here, but and yeah, I sort of could organize, organize myself to do that. But I'm just sort of kind of thinking here. Let's smash this. One. That if I do that, fine. But I want to try to secure this this flank first. I know. I guess I could try to do an evac. Now maybe the smart thing to do is the sort of um, with the German general staff move back to a defensible line for the winter, which was their point. But forget about this part and try to withdraw back here because obviously my race for Leningrad has run into some major problems. But I still think if I try to, instead of retreating back, if I can try to secure this line here, um, it'll be a short enough line, because that's the point, is to shorten the line. We have the lake here. Um, We can break out and still push this for Leningrad. That would be nice. And I've also went and readjusted a bunch of my production stuff. Nothing wondrous or great. Why you're way back here? Or maybe I'm just moving you to the front. Right, so the front is advanced. Ausrücken. I'm trying to cut these guys off here. I really wish there was a um, 
going to bring it up with somebody. An option to, um... Oh, good. We pushed to the Angetreten. river, and I think we can cross the river here. Well, let's see if we can beat us. Bereit zum Ausfang. Bereit! Ausrücken! Let's sort of burst out of it. Ausrücken! Ausrücken! Mobile forces. down in North Africa. Mostly we're just holding this pocket of big British stuff and letting the Italians advance into the desert, which is fine by me right now. Oh, we have more factories available for us. Good. Oh, pause, 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 pause. Well, let's be a little sort of scientific about some of this. We need more Panzer III's, I know that. We could use some more anti-tank guns. Transport vehicles, we need those. Those are probably more important. Units without transport slow up. Salt boats and bridging equipment. Now well, let's see what sort of resources the salt boats and bridging equipment need. Um, okay, well, no resources for that, so... Let's get those, and... Bridging equipment. The steel, which we have, in a relative abundance. Oh, good. We we well, we're importing some of this stuff now. It's a little too much rubber. Be importing. Let's see if we can kill the Brazil. Oh no, we're not even importing. I'm not reading that right, am I? Okay. Hmm. So we now just have enough factories, building or converting, making artificial rubber. And we are producing more of those. So, let's... fixed. Okay, you guys. Let's find a new general. Skill. Mansion. Angetreten! No, 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 I was trying to sign you there, not to move you there. Bereit zum Ausrücken! Bereit! Angetreten! Ausrücken! Ausrücken! Get across that river. 
Zuhören. Zuhören. Zum Ausrücken. Zuhören. Befehle. Angetreten. Zuhören. Ihre Befehle. Bereit! Achtung! Achtung! Ausrücken! Befehle! Let's see if we can now. Well, they're already sort of there, but. Befehle! New attack there. Bereit! Across the river. Zuhören! Track that bulge. Zum Ausrücken. Ihre Befehle. Special Ihre Befehle. Befehle. Okay, and because we are in desperate times, we're going to continue this. More tactics. Employing the battlefield, the better off we're gonna be. Ihre Befehle. Bereit zum Ausrücken. At least it should. Well, come on, Finns, go into these un unoccupied provinces. Okay, I'm going here to flank him. And you guys probably didn't join in that attack, so he didn't go well. Take that city there. Bereit zum Ausrücken! Bereit zum Ausrücken. Ausrücken. Achtung. Shifting forces out of there. Which I don't know if that's good or bad. I, well, obviously I'd love to kill them, but um, like they're getting supplies too. Right. Um, 
angetreten. Size huge now, but well. Now that we have a retreat open. Here is some armor. That's all right. You guys. No. I just gotta specify. Come in here. I want you to help the Romanians. Because I want this front to advance. Oh, we've got more factories that we can... What do we need? What do we need? Of course, we need all types of fighters and bombers and things, too. Oh, trucks. Trucks, 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 trucks. Transport vehicles. <laughs> Presume they're meaning these, so um Yeah, we'll up these by two. Which puts us in the red a little bit there. Bereit! 
Ausrücken! Angetreten! Bereit zum Ausrücken! Bereit zum Ausrücken! Okay, foreign recruitment. Or S foreign SS recruitment, yes. Himmler initially in 1934 set stringent requirements for recruits. They were to be German nationals who could provide their Aryan ancestry back to 1800 unmarried and without criminal record. Recruits had to be between the ages of 17 and 23, at least um, 5 foot 9 inches tall. Um, taller, 10 inches tall for Liebstandart. Recruits were required to have perfect teeth and eyesight and provided a medical certificate. By 1938, the height requirements were relaxed up to um, Six dental fillings were permitted, and eyeglasses for astigmatism and mild vision correction were allowed. Once World War II in Europe commenced, physical requirements were no longer strictly enforced. Essentially, any recruit who could pass the medical exam was considered for the Papen SS service. Following the campaign in 1940, Hitler authorized enlistment of people perceived to be of related stock, as Himmler put it, um, to expand the ranks, the number of Danes. Dutch and Norwegian, Swedes and Finns volunteered. Sorry about that. Um, volunteered to be in the Waffen SS under the command of the German officers. Non Germanic units were not considered to be part of the SS directly, which still maintained strict racial criteria, but um, rather were considered foreign nationals serving under um, the command of the SS. Okay, all that is essentially correct. Um, now, I don't know. Why the hell they have um, a photo of, of army soldiers? I mean, we're talking about foreign units in the SS, not foreign units in the army. I know sometimes you may think I'm over particular about the images. Um, long ago, long ago, I I got fed up trying to or watching documentaries in which. You know, um, the breakout in the um, Battle of the Bulge, and they were showing tanks, you know, um, early model um, Panzer IVs with the short barrels attacking in, you know, the summertime for the Battle of France or something like that. I mean, I see this over and over um, in documentary film footage that they were using unrelated... Yeah, they were German tanks. Yes, they were advancing in Belgium. Yes, but <laughs> they were advancing in 1940, not 1944. Different time of the year. I mean, just on and on. So, it's lying through pictures. Now, I will say that in my own modding career, um, sometimes I lie through pictures because, hey, it's a fantasy event. It's like one of my um, early events is, hey, what if... Germany takes over and you know, conquers um, Switzerland, well, they're going to raise foreign SS units, or maybe they're going to now consider the Germans in Switzerland to be Germans to go in the SS. Well, what would you call the unit? I decided the Wilhelm Gustav after the dual citizen who was, who was murdered. And so I used a picture of Waffen SS mountain troops that were obviously some other unit because this unit never existed. So, sure. 
when we're talking something fantasy. Now, I'm, it's fantasy in that it didn't happen, but I was looking at it as a re very real world. Well, what if? Not what if Martians showed up, but what it you know what would be what would likely happen if the Nazis had invaded Switzerland, or it could also theoretically happen diplomatically, but that's only theoretical, not not a practical thing in Hearts of Iron Three. So, you know, okay, do that, and sometimes either they're just existing on the the net where we have access to them to, to scan them in we just can't find a pic the right picture or you know a picture sure 